The federal Labor leader Anthony Albanese is reportedly pushing for former Victorian Premier Steve Brax and ex-federal politician Jenny Macklin to head this review into the inner workings of the Victorian branch following those allegations of the industrial-scale recruitment of bogus members. Now, while branch stacking isn't illegal, it is a breach of the rules and the ALP National Executive will meet this afternoon to decide how to respond to this. It does have wide-ranging implications for Anthony Albanese as well, particularly the fact that uh, he, there's a by-election coming up in the federal seat of Eden Monero. He'll want to clean up this mess before then. In video aired by 60 Minutes, Mr Somurek claims to have an influence over Mr Albanese, something he strongly denies. Well, it's just not true. Uh, he uh, is someone uh, I've barely met. And, and the fact is, what, what's concerning here, Lee, is that when you have uh, branch stacking and a distortion, essentially, of, of outcomes, and it does need to be stamped out. Lies of the family of an Australian man, meanwhile, who is facing the death penalty in China, have commented on his sentence. So what did they have to say? Yeah, that's right, Pete. The family of Count Gillespie have broken their silence for the first time following his... Uh, he following the fact he was given the death sentence in China last week. It's prompted speculation about whether his sentence could be politically motivated given the current heightened tensions with Beijing. Now, both the government and the Chinese foreign ministry say this is not linked to bilateral tensions. Chinese judicial authorities handle cases in accordance with the Chinese law and legal procedures independently and strictly. The Australian side should earnestly respect China's judicial sovereignty. The above-mentioned case has nothing to do with the bilateral relations between the two countries. Pete, Mr Gillespie's family has also called for an end to this conjecture. In a statement through DFAT, they say they're very saddened by the situation. We request that friends of calm refrain from speculating on his current circumstances, which we do not believe assists his case. Pete, there's still a lot of work happening behind the scenes to try to achieve a better outcome for Mr Gillespie.